everyone and welcome to today's video. So in speaking to the guys at Hagstrom again recently and something they mentioned when we spoke was a question they get asked quite a lot is about the different instruments in their Viking line. Um, and I noticed this um, on my own social media after I filmed the Hagstrom Viking 67 reissue and um, I had a lot of questions on Instagram about had I played the other models and at that point I hadn't. Um, so what we thought would be a cool idea would be to do a bit of a compare and contrast type video between a few of the kind of key models or the core models in the Viking line of instruments. So today I'm filming a compare and contrast type video, taking a look at the standard Viking, which I've got in white, we've got the Super Viking to my left, and that's in red, and then we've got the Viking Trimmer Deluxe um, in black. And this video isn't to say which is better or worse. Um, I've played them a little bit so far, and they all feel very similar in build quality. This is more to kind of compare the specs and kind of get a feel for each guitar and see where each guitar might appeal to different kinds of players, different kind of playing styles. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the specs, tones, that kind of thing. And we'll also take a look at where I might pick up each one in different kind of recording and live scenarios. So to kick things off with the comparison, I've got the Viking and then the Tremar Deluxe Viking. Um, and obviously the main difference with these two being the bridge. So this has got the Tremar Vibrato system. Um, so this is a kind of big speed design, but with a few Hagstrom tweaks. Um, you can pull up woods on the bar and the spring won't pop out and um, we've also got roller saddles on this to reduce friction um, and help with tuning stability. The next difference um, between the two guitars, this is a ply maple body whereas this is a ply flame maple body. And we can't actually see the flame on the black one um, but on the red and blue options we can see the flaming on there. Um, the last difference is purely aesthetic, it's the tone um, dials. So basically on this one we've got the spaceship kind of design and then on the Tremor Viking Deluxe we've got the barrel style chrome dials with the H stamp in there. So pickups wise both guitars are sharing the same here we've got the HJ50s and these are a kind of medium um, vintage voiced lower output pickup I guess um, both with covers on in this instance. <laughs> So next up I want to talk about the Super Viking. Um, so this feels a bit more of a modern kind of spin on the Viking design. And the first thing, um, the first difference on this guitar that I noticed was the scale length. And this is the first thing I notice any time I pick up a new guitar. Because um, to me this is the biggest thing that impacts the overall feel. Um, so this is a longer scale length, this is 25.5 inches. The other two are both 24.75. Um, so what a longer scale length will do, um, there's a little bit more resistance on the strings when we're bending. Um, it's going to give us a slightly brighter tone and the upper frets are going to be a little bit larger. Um, whereas a shorter scale length will have a bit of a warmer tone. Um, obviously smaller frets, uh, well all the frets are smaller, um, but it's where at the top end that I'd really notice it. Um, but it'll also be a little bit easier to bend on a shorter scale length. Again, neither is better, it's purely a preferential thing. Um, but it is worth knowing, I think, which um, you kind of gravitate towards. So that you know, if, if you pick up a guitar that's not the scale length um, that you're used to, you can kind of factor that into your playing and maybe make some adjustments so you can still achieve the results you want out of that instrument. So next up, um, the next difference we've got is these H50C humbuckers. Um, so these, we've got different pickup, but we've also got um, partial covers on these rather than fully covered. So if we were to take two of the same pickup and listen to one with the cover and one without, what we would find generally is that the one without the cover would sound brighter, and whereas the one with the cover would sound 
as if it had a little bit less kind of top end information. Again, neither is better really, it's just a preference thing. So in this instance, we've got partial covers on the H50Cs. Um, so these are still quite a bright sounding pickup. So we also have coil split options on this one, access via the push pull on the tone pots. Um, so arguably maybe a little bit more versatile, um, but definitely aimed at a more kind of modern minded player or someone who's more used to playing modern instruments perhaps um, with the kind of open pickups, coil split options and also the longer scale length on this one. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed the intro portion of this video and I spent quite a bit of time with each of the three guitars at this point. And here I want to kind of state that this isn't a comparison to say which is the best of the three or the worst of the three. All three feel very similar uh, build quality wise. This is more to kind of get a feel for each of the three guitars and then kind of have a think about what kind of player each one would appeal to. So with that in mind, the Viking to me felt like a very traditional instrument, very familiar feeling for what we would expect from a semi hollow guitar. And to me it was kind of like a rock and roll machine, but equally at home on any of the kind of classic genres. So jazz, country, blues, my cat's just walked into the camera stand. Come here. Um, the Tremor felt very similar. Um, as I mentioned in the first half of the video, they share the majority of the specs um, with the addition of the Tremolo unit. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, that's something to consider. So to me, the Super Viking felt like a much more kind of modern iteration on the classic Viking line. Um, we've got the longer scale length on there, so this is going to be ideal for players who are coming from a longer scale length and want to get the semi-hollow sound without necessarily having to adjust to that shorter scale length. You've also got the split coil options on there, so that's an added kind of versatility point if that's something you're looking for. So in terms of where I would use each of the three guitars, the one that felt the most comfortable to me and for my own kind of playing style was the Super Viking. And I think this is with the longer scale length. Um, it's more what I'm used to, um, and the majority of my other guitars have longer scale lengths. Um, particularly on the higher up frets and for lead work, it just felt a little bit more comfortable um, having a kind of space and I'm familiar with. That said, um, I mentioned in the Viking 67 II video that what I really liked about that guitar was that it brought out a different side of my playing. Um, and I found the same thing with the Tremor Deluxe and the standard Viking model was that with the shorter scale length, it made me kind of play a little bit differently. Um, I kind of found I was doing more um, bluesy type playing. So if I wanted to access that side of my playing, I would pick up one of those two. So if I was doing a recording session or a gig and I was only to use one of these three guitars, I would probably go for the Super Viking. As to me, it's the one I felt most comfortable on, but also you've got options of split coil tones via the push pull, should you need them. Um, but again, I want to stress that this isn't a which is better, which is worse. To me, the build quality felt consistent across all three models. So that was the Hagstrom Viking, Super Viking and Viking Tremor Deluxe. If anyone's got any questions, let me know in the comment section and let me know which of the three guitars you'd go for. If you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. A big thank you to Hagstrom and Rosetti for sending the guitars over. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.